This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 6, 2018. I'm your co-host, Scott, and joining us is Coach Jay. We want to do these reviews to show you that there's an opportunity to make around 10% in a give or take a few percentage points, or sometimes a lot more, pretty much every day. And it doesn't take a lot to, if you know the difference between green and red, you're, you're halfway there. And we do have people who are blind trading, so there's no excuse. You can, you can make money if you put your mind to it and you take the time to learn and practice. So that's part of what we want to show you. So Coach Jay, it's December 6th. Were we able to make some money? Oh, we were. And today was a great day to be making some money. And I'm hoping to show you guys a few trades today. The first one I got for everyone is Adobe. Adobe had some awesome moves in this day, not only in the morning, but in the afternoon time as well. But we're going to focus on the morning because this is where the power and volume is. So right here, you've got this red and then boom, it goes green off, bouncing off of the support line and it's peeking its head out of this other resistance point. So we're looking for possibly a move up. Go ahead and buy a call. And moving forward, we're already at 9% on the same candle within a minute. Wow. So my process was looking at getting out around a support line. However, sometimes these stocks just don't even mess around and blow through a support line like it's it's nobody business, like it wasn't even there. Right, it just so, went through the benchmark line. It did. It went through a couple lines of support here. You see this blue dotted line and the blue line, and it's got this blue background. I'm interested. I wanna see what's gonna go on. With this, I also expect potentially some flutter. So it's made a, made a decent move. It may flutter a little bit before it gets its legs underneath it, but I'm at 25%. So I'm willing to see in this instance, all things considered, what, what's going what's gonna to happen next. So I'm staying in this one. And I, like I said, I expect some flutter. Notice how it didn't, it came down, but it, it didn't even dip below these lines. So these lines that were resistance became support. So supporting that price. And then right here is it, it is hitting the next line of resistance that I would be concerned about. It didn't blow through it. It's kind of just stalled at it. I'm out at this point. And we're looking at a 35% gain in just a few minutes. Yeah, make a third on your, on your money. That's a pretty good day. Yeah, you know, within the first 10 minutes, uh, 11 minutes of the market opening and, and making 30 plus percent, Man, the rest of the day is yours to go have fun. That's right. Head to the beach. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Head to the beach, do what you do, and have fun. That's what this is all about. And this is what the lifestyle that trading can provide for people. Yeah. Is, you know, have more time for what you want and not having to spend a lot of time making money. Very cool. So was there another trade today that was good? There was. There was lots of trades today that were good. and I. Wanted to pick through some of them for you. So we're going to look at BA Boeing. And this was this trade happened about 15 minutes after that last trade that you saw. So if for some reason you're not a one trade a day kind of guy or gal, and you're looking for more opportunities, you didn't have to wait long on this day. And we're going the other direction. So the market has changed, the momentum has changed, and we are looking at Boeing as it's breaking through the risk zone. So you'll, this is one of the setups that I like, and you'll see in some of my other trade reviews that I've done with Scott that I like these where it's, it's, a, it's setting you up and so you can kind of lie in wait for the perfect moment. So right here, you've got a big red candle. And then it decides to kind of stall out, waiting to make up its mind. I like sitting here and seeing what's going to happen, right? We're not in the job of 
I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know which direction it's going to go. I'm going to wait till it shows me which direction it's going to go. And then we will either choose to get in or stay out. So right here, we've got strength. We've got a little bit of volume after a volume spike. And it has broken through the resistance and has showed its hand to us. So we're going to go ahead and buy a put and move forward. Right now at 6%, already at 13%. We're gonna stay in, it hasn't met any requirements to get out, there's no reason to get out. Market's looking extremely strong. We still have volume, we've got the Fantastic Four in K-Band, Tent, Signal, and J-Stop. So let's keep, keep going ahead. Now we're at 20%. And now, look what we have here. We have a volume spike that matches, roughly matches or exceeds the volume spike that started the downtrend. And we are starting to get close to a support line. I'm gonna go ahead and call it good at 24%. Yeah. And I wanna, I wanna go with look, the known and not gamble on the unknown. Right, and you can see too that it sort of almost touched that support line and then moved back up. So it's kind of like dipping its toe in and now all of a sudden the risk of a reversal is going up and we want to keep our money. We do want to keep our money. That's the name of the game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's dipped its toe on that support line and it, it kind of became unsure. And as soon as I saw that volume, it's, uh, it's time to slap on the running shoes, get outside. Cool. So do we have a third one we want to take a look at today? Well, first of all, how much did we make on that one? We made on this one 23%. Nice. So in the first half hour of the market opening, and you could have traded consecutively in a total of 10 minutes, you're sitting at, uh, we'll call it 59%. Cool. Beautiful day. And it was all highlighted by the software. Yeah. You saw that in the change. Uh, and the strength and some of the other indicators that came on software is showing it. And our coaching just helps the student kind of navigate or be able to train their eye to be able to identify these moments. Yeah, perfect. Let's go to... DE, and we're just going to push forward, literally... What's that? Maybe a minute after the last trade and pick up, or two minutes after the last trade and pick up another trade. This is an unbelievable day. Fantastic day. So on DE, you can see that it has come down and has hit some lines of support. And it looks like it potentially could be bouncing off. And the market at this time as well is still in a weak kind of put scenario, but it has been weakening. So it kind of peaked already as far as going shifting down, and it is weakening its strength in that direction. So since we are already up, then I'm looking at a call scenario here. Moving forward, there we go. We have it coming back through the benchmark and we've got the uh, signal in the background letting us know that, hey, there's something potential here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get in. The market strength has pushed completely to a call situation with some good market strength. Huge candle with volume spike that only reinforces my decision to get in. And we're at 15%. We're at 15%. And we have no reason at this point to get out other than the large candle because this is the first volume spike of the trend. 
and we're not super deep into the trend yet. So we're going to see where this one takes us. We're going to also expect some flutter or some pullback. And this comes with experience and knowledge of working through the system to kind of be able to identify when the potential for acceptable flutter is and when, hey, we're looking at a reversal. It even strengthens more to a larger volume. And then, like I said, I expected some flutter, some resistance, and there we go. It Back comes up. right through. And we still haven't hit a resistance line. They still got room to run. We still got $3.74 to run. Right there. We had this gap in volume, a volume spike came back up. We're kind of deep in the trend and we're hitting a resistance point. Those are my reasons to go ahead and exit with 27%. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. 27% in just a few minutes. Yeah, looking at the day on the whole, you're looking at... Uh, 85%, 86% in a total of 18 minutes. Yeah, five-minute trade for 35%, another five-minute trade for 23%, and then eight minutes for 27%. And then beautiful was, day. Beautiful day, and not only that, is these were almost all consecutive. So you're looking at all this in only a market open time of 40 minutes. Wonderful. These are the days that we really want to capitalize on. And these are the days that we wait for. So we're waiting for that perfect pitch. And some days, for whatever reason, that pitcher just keeps giving us our perfect pitch. And we just keep knocking out of the park. And some days, the pitcher is going to be pretty sneaky and pretty sly and maybe not give us our perfect pitch or, or only give us one in that day. And so we wait around for these days and we capitalize on this and uh, it, it makes it all worthwhile knowing that our perfect pitch is out there and having a fantastic day like this one. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, thanks coach Jay. Do you have a coaching tip for everybody before we sign off? I do be patient. Let your trades develop before you get in. That's where it gets exciting. And that's where you minimize risk. Risk management is a big, big deal when trading. Cool. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Really appreciate having you along on this journey with us. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 6, 2018. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.